Hello and welcome to our penultimate sailors questions in this series. Uh, it's penultimate because we only have one left. Uh, we don't meet enough people unfortunately to be putting this content out every other week. So we're just going to take a break whilst I'm still here in the UK on a little holiday. But I thought this sailors questions would warrant a little introduction because it's quite a special one and it's Gia of PSS Boatyard who has helped us over the last uh, year or so and this was recorded on his first ever sailing trip. Uh, when we left PSS we launched the boat with Gia and his wife on board and he was sprung this by surprise he didn't know anything about it so uh, let's go and meet Gia. Hello and welcome to another edition of Sailor's Questions and this is a very special edition because I have Gia who's the manager of PSS Shipyard and he's not officially a sailor but he does own a boat so it counts and Gia has been instrumental in Esper's refit over the last uh, 18 months and not only that he's come to our rescue twice since then so we owe this man a lot so we're now going to get our own back and ask him some questions and he has no idea what the questions are and in fact he didn't even know he was going to do this until we just started recording. Mm, yeah. Right. Hi everyone. <laughs> okay so your questions are number one where would you most like to be right now? Right now? I would love to be in in the ocean somewhere swimming, diving, snorkeling yeah, don't want to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a soundtrack when you're out on the water? Do you have um, a, a particular song or music in your head when you're out in, on the ocean? Under the sea? Under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I couldn't hear much anyway. But yeah. Who's that by? Do you know? I, I heard the song, but I don't really know who, who made that song. Okay, I'm gonna have to look that one up. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, what do you miss most about home apart from family and friends when you're out on the water? Maybe my dog and the food, that's it. <laughs> I like to get away from home though, it, you know, I stay too much there and I wanted to get out. Mm. So it's almost the opposite for us in that you know we miss home because we're out on the water all the time I guess for you it's the other way round, yeah? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, here's an interesting one. Does travel broaden the mind or does it reinforce old, old prejudices? Well, actually travel, it, it, it opens up my, you know, thought a lot about different people, different places, how they do things. Because I've been in Satun for all of my life and we've been in a small circle of people so I've been seeing the same thing, you know, same people all the time. So being able to explore other places, get to see, you know, beautiful things, beautiful cultures, and yeah, the difference, it's, it's amazing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yep, agreed. Okay, what would your superpower be? Superpower? I would love to have a capabilities of travel back through time. Mm. Now that's interesting. I would have traveled a lot more. Not just stay home and work, yeah. come back home and sleep and work on the next day. Yeah. I would want a boat maybe. <laughs> like a sailboat <laughs> like this. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, if this question came when I was a kid, I would have said I wanted to be an astronaut maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But now it comes to this time, I just want to be a happy, ordinary person. Just that has, get, have time to do other things, you know, not just work. Get time to spend with families, you know, with friends, yeah, and travel to other places, other countries, you know, more often. Yeah, that's um, a very humble and very sensible answer. I like that one. <laughs> Okay, when you're on the boat, and I think I know the answer to this question, when you're on a boat, what's your favourite bit of kit? Kit? Mm. Kit, um, <clears throat> an object on the boat. What do you like most? I would like um, electronics things, 
on the boat, like navigation systems, because I like to, you know, yes. see see how these work, like uh, radars and you know. That's because Jay's a bit of a technophile. He likes his technology. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to say fishing rod. Oh, well, if you have, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fishing is a big part of it that I like to be underwater because you know we get to fish too. Mm. Mm. When you see this man in his office and then you see this man on a boat with a fishing rod, they are two completely different people. <laughs> I think Jia and Dan, they, uh, they live for fishing. Right, now this is why I laughed when you said that your going back in time would be your superpower, because the question now is if you could go back in time, mm. where would you go? Go back in time, where would I go? I would go back when I was a kid. I would, you know, hang out more with friends and you know, don't just listen to parents all the time. They say, hey dad, I want to go out and have trouble with friends. Because, you know, when I was a kid, people would say, oh, no, don't go out, it's dangerous or oh, really? it's not good. And, mm. you know, they try to keep us in, you know, around. Mm. So I wanted to go out with friends, travel, and yeah, get to do different, more, you know, more things. Fishing, yeah, or sailing, or yeah, even just swimming in the sea. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, and get to do more things that are that will gain my experience more. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's your favorite anchorage? Anchorage? Mm. Well, and I, I guess you know this area pretty well, but it doesn't have to be here. Actually, the favorite is just not, not too far from here. Around there. Uh, off Adang? Uh, a bit between Adang and that and rock. Oh, okay. There's a deep channel there. The current is pretty strong, but down there is a huge mountain of reefs. You know, 10, 12 different colors and fish down there. It's very nice. Yeah, we've yet to go over there, but uh, now you've said that, we're going to make a point of heading over there. Sure. Okay, <clears throat> if follow the boat could grant you one wish, what would it be? I would be a volunteer for, you know, Ocean Assage. Oh, ah, yeah. Okay, right, we will bear that in mind. I've got a little ocean passage to do tomorrow up to Phuket. Do you fancy joining me? Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the work, I have to, I have to go back, but yeah. <clears throat> I, re I really wish I could have spend more time here in the boat and you know, get well, to do more things. You know, we're going to be staying local for the next year, so Gia, you're always welcome. Thank always you. welcome. Thank you. Right, what's been the highlight of your life at sea so far? Do you have any special moments that you think of on the ocean? Yeah, it's a kind of feeling of free and, you know, get away from the phone. I had my phone off already and I feel like this is this is a better life, you know, mm. without phone calls, without, you know, busy stuff. And when you're out at sea, you can feel like you can just go anywhere. Just, just, yeah, just right. go. It, it, the feeling of freedom, no, which is that's, very special. That's why we do what we're doing, for that exact reason. Yeah, and the sceneries and mm. nature, it's beautiful. Fishing is a good part of it too. And it's particularly beautiful here. Where well, we are in between Koh Lippi and Adang. Mm -hmm. We wake up this morning and the sun comes up over the horizon. Well, some of us saw the sun come up over the horizon. We've got a nice big cloud over Adang there. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's stunning, isn't it? Mm. Okay, last question, Jia. Okay. What next? What next? What next is that we're going to take the boat back to Satun. And uh, I'll be, you know, thinking of when is the next time I can join Esper again <laughs> and miss and then meet with Jamie and Liz and Millie. Yeah, spend time again and look forward to looking forward to the next trip. Oh, what a great answer. Right Jia, thank you very much. I hope that wasn't too harmful to your health. Oh, no. Those questions. It's very hot here though, isn't it? it it's is. only what half eight uh, in the morning and mopping our brows. But uh, yeah, great. And thanks for coming on board and uh, bringing Dan and May and Julie and uh, catching all those fish. Yeah. You know, it's quite interesting because a lot of people, a lot of yachties, ourselves included, always got a bit despondent with this area for fishing. Mm 
-hmm. I think people are so used to throwing out a line on the back in the big oceans and catching nice big fish that when they get here, um, they don't catch anything. But I think you two guys are proof that, you know, if you know what you're doing, you're using the right gear, mm -hmm. the right uh, setup, and perseverance. <laughs> yeah. Getting up at five in the morning. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, fish is everywhere. You just yeah. have to you know, know the right time, right place, and use the right baits. Mm -hmm. And, and the, earlier I did say that uh, you'd helped us out of a couple of situations. Well, the first time was when Liz and I were actually anchored exactly in this spot. Mm -hmm. And that's when we had the... Um, oh, we did starting motor. The, the starter motor woes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, Gia, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for having us on board Esper. It's been a pleasure and it's, it's been a very good experience. I've been working with boats for years, but never once sail. Yeah. And yeah. This is his first sail. We actually got to go sailing. Mm. Mm. And wow, it is a very good feeling. We didn't do so fast, no, but yeah, I get the feeling of it. Yeah. Wow, it's, it's going to be much more fun if we really you know, go yeah. for a longer you know, distance. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And thank you very much, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jamie. Our pleasure. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.